welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well out there. It's a nice day out here, so I thought I'd do a hair tutorial today. This is my version of how to slay your lace frontal to show you guys how simple it can be to apply your lace frontal. And I want to take this time to say if you're new to my channel, welcome. On this channel, I talk about nursing topics, hair, makeup, lifestyle, vlogs. I do a little bit of everything. So if you like stuff like that, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And for my return viewers, thank you for coming back and welcome back. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. So here's what you're going to need. A hair net, a comb, two hair clips, got to be glue gel, eco styler gel, a flat iron, a blow dryer and the most important piece of the puzzle your handy dandy lace frontal <laughs> Okay ladies, I'm going to go ahead here and start to apply the glue. This is not really glue, it's actually gel. It's just the name that makes it sound like it's glue. It's called Got To Be Glue. But it's actually just gel for hair. So once you apply it across the front of your hair, wherever your lace frontal is, you want to take those clips and clip it back and then blow dry it. I use a low setting to blow dry it. And then once you blow dry it, you want to set it on right on top of the gel or glue and then tie it down with a scarf as you see me do here. And then after a while, you want to take off your scarf and as you can see here, it's laid. That wig ain't going nowhere, y'all. They can pull and touch and you can flip your hair back and forth as much as you want. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> So now I'm just going to go ahead and start to curl the hair. I use a flat iron to curl my hair because I want big bouncy curls and I'll show you the results right here. See that? That's the kind of curl I'm going for. This is how I get the big curls in my hair. Um, I don't use a curling iron. I use my flat iron. This is how you get big messy looking curls in your hair. If you want tighter curls, then yes, you can use a curling iron or a curling wand or stuff like that. Which I'll do some videos on showing you how to do those curls. But for the length of this hair, if I do tighter curls, I feel like the hair will get really shorter. And I don't really want it to be short because it's already short. It's about that long. So I want some curls in it, but I don't want to make the hair any shorter than it already is. I'm just gonna hold the hair back to do my baby hair. I use the Eco Styler gel and the fake toothbrush. Don't do too much baby hair because it looks fake. Just make it as simple as possible. So depending on where you want your part to be, that's where you're going to focus more on um, defining the baby hair. You want to do the whole front if you're going to do like a ponytail kind of look. You want to cover the whole front in baby hair. I'm going to take this same scarf and tie down my baby hair. Okay, and now I'm going to style the hair to my desire. And as I said, I don't want tight curls with this look. I just wanted it to look a little bouncy and a little curly. 
So guys, what you can do here now is if you wanted to, you can style this hair any way you want. You can push it to the side. Like so. You can wear it down the middle. Like so. Or you can even wear it into a ponytail. I just always tend to leave a little bit of hair out with my ponytail around the ear area. I don't know. It makes it look pretty and feminine. So like that. You can even wear a high ponytail with this. I'm going to try to create that here. Give me a second. When you wear your hair up, guys, it's good to wear like a really pretty earring. If you're simple, I like simple earrings like studs and stuff. But if you want to go more, if you want to make it look not so simple, you can just pop on a really pretty earring. Ooh, and I lost my earring. <laughs> like so. Or you can do a hoop. It's always pretty when you wear a ponytail to wear a hoop with it. Like so. So yeah, the possibilities are endless. You can literally do so many styles with this hair. So I'm going to do the final style, which is my favorite. It's a little side part. I'm not sure which side I want to use this time. Maybe this side? One thing I forgot to mention is that when you do wear your wig with the got to be glue, you can keep it on for up to three days. The thing that deactivates the glue is water. I usually only wear it for a day or two, but I've heard you can keep it on for up to three days. But um, when I go work out, it comes off anyways, so I like to take it out every night. So all I do is I take a piece of cloth, soak it in water, and dab it across the front of my... Um, 
my head, I guess, or wherever the glue is. And I do it repeatedly till the glue starts to slide off. Do not try to pull the wig off when the glue has not completely deactivated because it's going to snatch your edges. Just keep applying the water onto it and it'll come off. Just be patient and it comes off really easy. And you can reuse your wig over and over again as you please. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like videos like this, please don't forget to leave a comment down below. I enjoy making these videos for you guys and I hope you enjoy watching them. I appreciate your support. So please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and even share the video. I appreciate you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye.